It's our trust company, um, is now $1.7 billion in assets. Farmers National Bank stock hits an all-time high after its merger with Cortland Bank closes. And what's causing the labor shortage? Find out on today's Daily Buzz. Hello everyone, welcome to the Daily Buzz. I'm Mike Moliterno. Farmers National Bank CEO Kevin Helmick says the bank's merger with Cortland Bank will translate into more products for customers. Farmers closed on the merger November 1st with its stock price hitting an all-time high shortly after. The bank employs 500 and will likely increase that number to just under 600. Currently, the bank is working to eliminate duplication as a result of the merger while minimizing employee impact as much as possible, Helmick says. We're looking at a couple of markets where we do have overlap in, in our branch network. Um, and that's one is in the North Lima market and one is um, in the Niles market. And so those um, we've, we've talked about in the past that, um, you know, in the next year or so as we, you know, kind of configure our branches, we're going to be thinking about those markets. And we've already communicated with employees there and they're, all the employees that are affected. Um, we'll have other other positions within farmers. One big change coming to farmers is its expanded legal lending limit, which is a little over $50 million. The merger also allows farmers to offer more wealth management products to Cortland customers. So our trust company um, is now $1.7 billion in assets, and we have um, attorneys and accountants and CFAs, and we have some really um, well-credentialed folks there that now the Cortland customer base will just organically have access to. You can read more in the story on our website. Even with the merger, Helmick says farmers isn't immune to the staffing shortages facing the country. In the latest Your Money video, president of Gem Young Insurance in Canfield, Leo DiPrilli, talks about some of the reasons for the labor shortage. And we've had a very robust stock market the last 12, 13 years, and if people are have invested sensibly and wisely, people are ahead of schedule in terms of when they can retire. Um, so there's really two components going on here. So many more people had the ability to retire younger, mm -hmm. and the labor participation rate in the 65 and older group is down 8%. You can hear the full interview at businessjournaldaily.com. Elwood Aluminum in Hubbard has a new piece of equipment that will allow it to streamline the cutting process. The company recently installed a new cutting saw that makes a variety of cuts to aluminum plates without having to reposition the material. Elwood's products are used in the aerospace, defense, automotive, and tooling industries. And Ohanalink is partnering with Potential Development to develop an app. The app will help Potential Development, a school for children with autism, communicate with parents and the community. Ohanalink's Direct Connect technology allows businesses to custom design a smartphone app that enhances communication and improves access to service. And that is going to do it for today's Daily Buzz. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you'd like to dive deeper into any of these stories, links are available in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Mike Moliterno. Seven Seventeen Credit Union. Business services designed to meet your daily needs. Commercial loans, business deposits, merchant and payroll services. 717 Credit Union. It's knowing you were treated right every time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell for notifications. And also make sure to connect with us on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. For all of your business news, visit businessjournaldaily.com. For all of your arts and entertainment news, go to afterhoursyoungstown.com.